The next stage is to prepare the case for the installation of all its components. The Antec 300 is actually advertised as a gaming case, but my personal opinion is that it looks a pretty smart case no matter what you're going to use it for. It has a grilled front with room for two 120mm fans. There's also room for three five and a quarter inch bays. There's a 120mm fan on the top. And there's space for another 120mm fan on the side. The power supply is mounted at the bottom. There's a 120mm fan on the back. And that back plate there on the left will come off and we'll use the one that came with the motherboard. It's also very easy to take the side panels off this case. You don't need a screwdriver. Just a quick look at the inside of the case. Whenever you buy a case, you will also be supplied with a bag of screws. The next stage for me is to install the power supply. Now this depends on the type of case you've got and whether having the power supply in will interfere with screwing the motherboard in. In my case, it doesn't affect it because the power supply is going to be at the bottom. This is a non-modular power supply, it means that all the cables connected to it stay connected to it, as opposed to a modular where you plug in the cables as and when you need them. We've also got a power cable that also came in the box. Now a power supply is very easy to install. All you have to do is slide it into position and then screw it in at the back. There are four screw holes on the back and don't forget to flick that on off switch before you test out the computer. Don't forget when installing your power supply to have the fan pointing down into the case if possible. So there we go, the power supply is now installed. The next stage for me is to install the motherboard into the case.